How's it going folks? Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. In this video, we're taking a look at iOS 18.1 Release Candidate. Now, what's special about this is that it includes the new AirPods Pro 2 hearing aid features, which is enabled for the very first time for beta users to test. And I do so. Check it out. Okay, so here we go. iOS 18.1 Release Candidate. And we have updated, you can see there. Let's go ahead and swipe to get started. And of course, we'll go to the settings, go to general, go to about and check out the build. So you can see 18.1 with build number 22B82. So keep that in mind once the official 18.1 release drops next week. But you can see this includes all sorts of features. We're gonna walk through that next week once it releases in full. But right now I wanna focus on the new feature that's included with this release candidate. And that is of course the new hearing health features. Now you will need AirPods Pro 2 running this firmware version or later 7B13D. Now there's no way to force your AirPods to update, but if you plug it in, and I'm assuming you'll need to have betas enabled for AirPods, and then it should automatically update after a while. So just be patient. Okay, so back to hearing health, you have hearing protection, which includes things like loud sound reduction, the ear tip fit test, headphone safety on iPhone, etc. But of course, the thing we're most interested in is hearing assistance. And you can see here, AirPods Pro can use the results of a hearing test to make adjustments that support your hearing. You can take a hearing test using AirPods Pro or use an audiogram from an audiologist. So hearing aid, if you have mild or moderate hearing loss, AirPods Pro can work as a hearing aid to boost voices and sound around you. And there's also media assist, which can make adjustments to improve the clarity of music videos and calls. But Apple notes several times that if you experience a sudden change in your hearing, please talk to a doctor. You'll see that repeated multiple times. So tap on take a hearing test and you can see test your hearing. So hearing loss is common and can get worse over time. A five minute test can identify if you have it. And if you have mild or moderate hearing loss, AirPods Pro can provide hearing assistance and make voices, music, and sounds around you easier to hear. And again, Apple repeats, if you have a sudden change, talk to a doctor. So let's tap on get started. So now you just need to answer three questions. Are you 18 or older? Yes. Are you currently experiencing allergies or a cold or an infection? No. Have you been in a loud environment, like a concert or something for the last in the last 24 hours? No. So once you do that, it's gonna ask you to place your AirPods in your ear. And once you do that, just tap on next. And give it a second. And now it's going to check out the noise in your environment. So I want you to find a quiet place where you can focus and take this test. If there's too much noise, like you see here, then it will tell you, you won't be able to proceed. But now that I'm in a quiet environment, I can go ahead and tap on next. Then Apple wants you to make sure that you placed your AirPods in the correct ear. So I guess some people, uh, sometimes put the right bud in the left ear and the left bud in the right ear to maintain the quality of the test. You want to make sure they're in the right ear. And then you also want to make sure that they have the right amount of depth in your ears and that the fit is snug, but comfortable. So now AirPods will check the fit in each ear, measure background noise. So you will hear some music play during this check. Here it is. Okay, so if it determines that the fit is good, it will allow you to proceed. It says that the environment is quiet enough to continue your test. So just tap next, and then do not disturb will be enabled so that you're not interrupted. Tap next, and now you're going to start to hear various tones played at different volumes and frequencies to check your hearing. You could play a sample on this page. Basically, it just sounds like ding, 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 but at various frequencies and various volumes. So you just tap the screen once you hear the tone. And if you miss a tone, you'll have another chance to hear it and to tap to indicate you heard it. So first it's gonna try the left ear. So once I hear a tone, I'm just gonna tap the screen like this and you'll hear it. It gets very faint when those frequencies change and the volume changes. And you really do have to listen closely and carefully to make sure that it's an accurate test. And that's why you need to make sure your, your background or your environment is extremely quiet. I mean, you don't want any sort of noise whatsoever because that could throw this test off very easily. All right, so the right ear is next. So tap next. Obviously I sped this up. This takes probably about a good five minutes to get through. 
for both ears so just tapping once I hear I don't hear as much on the right ear and so I'm guessing the right ear or my right ear is a little worse for the wear but we will find out so the test is complete so these results have been saved to the health app for your record so you can show results and there you go so here are the hearing test results. You can see the left ear has four decibels of hearing loss, so little to no hearing loss. And the right ear has a little bit more, six decibels of hearing loss. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. I was expecting, I mean, I had a lot of loud concerts and music in my, back in the day. Um, so I'm actually pretty, pretty tickled about how well this test went. So you can see, tells you about the hearing test and all the various frequencies and then you have this nice little graph up here for both ears and you can scrub through that to check each frequency now you also have this little key that tells you about the various amount of decibels that pertain to little mild moderate or severe hearing loss or profound hearing loss so i'm sh pretty surprised that less than 25 decibels of loss equals little to no loss so I guess my hearing's actually pretty good, much better than I thought. But if you screw up through here, you can see how you fared. And some of those scores are negative, so I'm guessing, does that mean my hearing's better than average? I don't know. That's kind of, I'm still trying to figure all that out. But if you go to the hearing section of the health app, you can find those hearing test results stored there. But folks, this is just part one of the whole hearing package that Apple has developed for AirPods Pro 2 and 18.1. Now let's talk about the second part, hearing aid. So AirPods Pro can help with hearing loss. Your AirPods can be used as a clinical grade hearing aid, and it can help if you have mild to moderate hearing loss. But if you don't have hearing loss or you have severe hearing loss, Apple recommends not to use the AirPods Pro as hearing aids. Uh, so. Keep that in mind. You don't want to use this if your hearing's good because you could potentially hurt your hearing in that case. So here, Apple talks about taking time to get used to using the AirPods Pro as your hearing aid. And now the hearing aid is ready. So if you feel your hearing is getting worse or you're having some problems, yeah, talk to a doctor. And hearing aid will be used instead of headphone accommodations for these particular AirPods Pro 2. Now, also note it, you can make adjustments directly from Control Center to the hearing aid settings. And I'll show you that here in just a second. But you can also do so directly from the AirPods preferences as well. So just tap hearing assistance and then you see these various settings here so you can enable or disable the hearing aid outright. There's various adjustments that we talked about which I'll show you here in just a second. And as you can see, AirPods Pro can use the results of the hearing test to make adjustments that improve clarity of voices and sounds around you. Just a really cool feature. I mean, think about this. These, these headphones came out a couple of years ago and you're getting basically a brand new product thanks to this update. Now, here are the adjustments. So you have amplification. So that's gonna change how loud uh, things are amplified. You also have swipe to control amplification. So you can swipe on the stem of the AirPods Pro 2 to increase or decrease amplification. Really cool. You also have balance, you have tone. You have ambient noise reduction, so you can enable that along with conversation boost while using these as hearing aids. Crazy. I mean, this is insanely impressive when you think about the fact that you have these headphones. I know I'm basically repeating myself, but you have these headphones. They've been out for years, and now you have clinical grade hearing aids, and you didn't do anything but update your phone and your AirPods. I mean, crazy, crazy to think about that, man. But there's all sorts of other features here. So adjusting the tone, you can change how, I guess, dark or how bright the sounds sound. And it's like sort of like low frequencies versus high frequencies. At least that's how it sounds to me. You also have about the hearing aid. So it tells you details about the feature version, update version for both Apple Watch, AirPods Pro and iPhone. So you can see that. And because this is FDA approved, you're going to have like some legitimate instructions for use, not just like Apple's getting started guy, but there's an actual whole PDF uh, to help you to use this hearing aid feature. And it's pretty verbose. Haven't read through it all yet, but I definitely plan on doing that. So really cool. 
And you can also use the AirPods settings to not only view your hearing test results, but also to update your hearing test results. But does that mean you have to go into the AirPods settings every time you want to change something like amplification or balance? No, you actually can do so directly from Control Center, which is awesome. So when the hearing aid feature is enabled, you'll find this amplification slider as well next to the volume slider for your media. And that can boost and reduce the amplification of your hearing aid. So if you're in a loud environment, you can boost it. Really, really cool. And of course you have your other things, so transparency mode or enabling active noise cancellation or even enabling conversation awareness, you can do that. But here's something else really cool. If you add this control in Control Center, the little ear, the hearing control, you'll be able to access some of the AirPods Pro 2 hearing aid features more granular settings. So just tap the ear and you can see hearing assistance, iPhone and media. So here you can control whether you have hearing assistance for phone, media, you can enable or disable transparency mode. You have your amplification slider, you have your balance slider, you have tone. So let's go in here and actually, let me show you this. This is really cool. So I'm gonna disable the AirPods for media playback as I've done there, but you still have access to the AirPods as a hearing aid. So you don't actually have to use media playback for the AirPods if you just wanna use it as a hearing aid. Uh, so you can go in here, you're not gonna find the volume controls there, but if you tap the little ear there, you can access your amplification. I do wish, I don't know if this will be a feature, but I, I wish you could still have like your AirPods um, or your, your amplification controls, even when you're not outputting media to the AirPods, if that makes sense. Uh, so hopefully Apple will add that. So it'll be a little bit easier. So you don't have to go into the little ear button to adjust amplification if you wanted to do so, but that's really nitpicky. Like I said, this is an extremely awesome new feature and you're getting it free. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments section, thumbs up if you appreciate this video and check out these other videos that you might like. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.